I'm going to do my May favourites and I have so much to show you this month. I'm feeling very chatty and rambly today though because I'm on my second coffee. It's a problem, it's a real problem. First things I'm going to mention are some fashion-y items. First thing that I've been loving is this white t-shirt from Topshop and I mentioned a white t-shirt in my other monthly favourites video but it's the summer and white t-shirts and tops are just perfect. So it's this gorgeous little top. It's got these kind of embroidered polka dots all over it. It's just my ideal top. They also do have this in red. The next thing is totally opposite to what I've showed you but it's this jumper that I got at the John Lewis photo shoot. It's by Hobbs which in my boyfriend's words isn't that an old person shop? <laughs> yes I also thought that only mature women shopped in Hobbs but I was pleasantly surprised that there's a lot of stuff in there that I liked and I got to take home a few things from the photo shoot and this is one of the things that I took. It's still very me because it's a jumper and I get to wear it with some skinny jeans but I just love the pattern on this, it's gorgeous and it is kind of pricey but it's amazing quality and I think it's gorgeous and it, it's kind of quite nice for the summer because it's not too heavy, it's kind of quite lightweight. And then something that's from the same collection from Hobbs is this raincoat jacket thing I think it's waterproof it feels like it is and it's got the same pattern inside the coat that is on this jumper but in reverse colours so I love the inside it's a lovely little addition to the coat and then it's just navy blue so it goes with all sorts it is perfect for the summer when it's rainy myself and Doug and his family we go on lots of walks and family outings so this is perfect the next fashiony thing is something that I bought last summer and didn't even wear until about three weeks ago and it's these sandals from Topshop recently I've been clearing out all the stuff that's still left at my old house and I bought these back and put them on and realized I really like them now. I need to find a different word for love. I'm like, I love this, I love this, I love this. I'm sorry, I'm very repetitive with my words, especially in favourites videos. But yeah, I've been wearing these with jeans and dresses and I just think they're super cute. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but I really, really like them. I can probably try and find a similar pair for you to link in the down bar if you want to check some of these out. Ooh, I can't believe I've just put my hands on the soles of these and these are really dirty. Eh. The next thing are some earrings, some accessories. Now, I haven't worn earrings in my first holes for a good couple of years or so. And recently, I've just been really, really enjoying wearing hoop earrings. Uh, as you might be able to see, I've got some little sterling silver ones in, also from accessories. I've got a pack of three. I've been trying to look for a pair of plain hoop earrings for ages, and I just couldn't find any until I wasn't looking for them, and then they just appeared. So I bought those, and then I also bought these gold cut out ones. I wore them in a few vlogs recently and I had so many compliments on them. They go really well with that white Topshop t-shirt. My style has just changed so much and it's become a lot more girly as well so I think I've just been really enjoying wearing dangly earrings. I always get asked what I get at Starbucks. I get an iced caramel latte for anyone that wants to know. One last fashion thing that I have loved this month and I'm gonna love probably for months and months to come is this blue bag from Topshop and it's the perfect size I can't tell you how long I've been looking for a nice bag that fits everything in because if you're a blogger like me or a youtuber and you go to events and you're expected to take your camera and take photos you always have this problem between wanting to have a cute bag but then also needing a bag big enough to fit all your stuff in and so for me it was either wear a nice little bag and then not be able to take my camera or have a big bag that was kind of a bit ugly and I finally found a bag that I like I went to a top shop party last month and I got a voucher so I was like, oh, I'm going to buy a bag. And it's the perfect colour for summer. It's not too baby blue, so it doesn't get dirty really quickly. But it is a nice pale blue colour. It's also got a strap. And it's actually got my laptop in it right now. It also fits my big camera in. So if I was to go to an event or go to London Fashion Week, I could fit my laptop, my big Canon camera, my vlogging camera, my phone, my iPod, a notepad, my makeup. I can honestly fit so much in this and it still looks nice at the same time so I am so happy I found this. A couple of foodie things I have been loving the last month is Quaker Oats, kind of boring I know but lately I've been getting into porridge. I'll just do it on the hob, add a little bit of milk, a bit of oats and I'll also put in some vanilla essence and it kind of just gives it a bit of flavour and then I add golden syrup, 
and just have it like that or I'll add frozen raspberries or blueberries and then the other thing that I have been liking for breakfast is this all brand golden crunch super duper tasty and it's high in fibre so that's always a good thing oh hang on my doorbell's going Doug's just got here so I had to let him in so I know I've been mentioning in the body shop a lot, but I did mention in my last haul that I was going to mention a couple of products. First thing is this vitamin E overnight serum in oil. I love face oils, I just think they work perfectly for my skin and they just make the skin feel so good. The thing I love about this one is that it's half the price or even a third of the price of any serums that I've tried out there and it really does do the trick. And I wake up in the morning with my skin feeling nice and refreshed and plump and smooth and it makes redness go down and it's just really really good i do recommend trying it out and then the next thing is this body spray this has been in my bag since day one and as you can tell it's kind of a bit battered now i've had so many compliments on this this is the feed and water lotus so last week doug's twin sister picked me up and i got in the car and she was like oh you smell nice and then when i got on the bus the other week the bus driver and she was a lady so it wasn't creepy in any way said oh you smell really nice and I was like oh thank you it's not too expensive it's really nice to find body sprays that smell really nice because they're a lot cheaper than a perfume that's maybe like 80 odd pounds been loving this oh it just smells so good and it's so fresh so I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair recently the hair color that I've been using is this Tony and Guy thingy majiggy. I'll find it for you guys because I don't know the exact name. This is the wand that I use and it does wonders. Curls stay in for days and I'm so impressed with this curling wand. So there were a few events that I really enjoyed last month. The first one was the John Lewis photo shoot and I've gone on about it a lot so I'm not going to blab on about it but it was just such an amazing opportunity for me and it really pushed me out of my comfort zone and it made me realise that I should push myself out of my comfort zone a lot more because I was really proud of myself and at the end of the day the worst that can happen is you feel really uncomfortable, you don't like it and then you never do something like that again but I loved it and then any other photo shoot opportunity that comes up in the future I will take. I was so proud of myself and I did vlog it so if you want to see the vlog I'll leave that in the down bar and then there was a 24 premiere that I went to, my first ever premiere. I was meant to be going to the Maleficent premiere as well but I had to cancel that to go to the John Lewis photo shoot. But Doug and I went to the London premiere of 24 and we met Kiefer Sutherland which was awesome and again I've got a vlog on that so I'll link it in the down bar and then another thing that I have a vlog on is the Paolo gig that me and Doug went to I know I've been going on about this for months but it was just amazing we went on the 31st of May and it was even better than I thought it was going to be Paolo Nettini sounds better than his actual album like live he is amazing and I got a comment on the vlog saying that one of you were standing next to Doug and I all night and you didn't say hi because you didn't want to disturb us which I thought was so cute. So if you want to see any of those then the vlog is on my second channel and talking of my second channel I am vlogging every single day this month so if you want to see this face every day a lot of the time without any makeup on then go check that out and I'm trying to think is there anything else that I have missed. The only other thing that I can think of is my monthly music playlist to go along with this video so don't forget to check that out. I hope you enjoyed my favourites videos, I've got lots of exciting videos planned for this month so look out for those. I'm definitely going to go now so I will see you in my next video, bye!